here we go. Good evening to everyone. A blessed Wednesday of Holy Week. We are going to pray a rosary. Ah, oh, the screen went green. It's matching my sweater, <laughs> my fleece. I'm sorry when that happens. It's a, my IT people, friends, told me that it's a Facebook thing. So there's nothing I can do. But we are going to pray, and we're going to pray asking St. Joseph to help prepare our hearts for the Easter Triduum. Nobody loved Christ and his sorrowful mother as much as St. Joseph. And he sheltered them from all suffering that he could while he was alive. And I'm sure that his greatest heartache on his deathbed was wondering who would be there to shelter them after his death. He had to really trust the Heavenly Father, that he had a plan. As always, we pray for all of our ladies' intentions, the intentions of St. Joseph. We pray for the conversion of Russia and the triumph of the Immaculate Heart throughout the whole world, but in our own homes and lives and hearts, our families. We pray for the end to all war, especially in the Ukraine, in the Middle East, in Uganda, in the Sudan, in Ethiopia, in the Cameroon, where there's unrest, right? Many places of unrest. It might not be an all-out war but there is either unrest or the aftermath of war in so many places, and we ask the Lord to bring peace. We pray for all of our people that we serve all over the world, especially persecuted Christians. We pray for our work in Pakistan and Afghanistan, in Uganda and Kenya and Tanzania and Nigeria, in Ethiopia, in the Cameroon, in Nicaragua, Colombia, Mexico, Belize, Peru, Argentina, Brazil, here in the United States. We pray for all of the members of the Children of the Cross and for their intentions, for the priests. We pray in union with them. We pray for a greater increase in vocations to the priesthood for holiness in the priesthood and we pray for those particular priests who we know the Lord has asked us to pray for we pray for the hierarchy of the church to be holy we pray for religious sisters and those called to holy marriage those discerning their vocations for the young people discerning spouses and vocations in general and colleges and jobs and all sorts of things. We pray for our young people to know and love and live the will of God. We pray for all of us to know and love and live the will of God. We pray for those in financial duress, the heads of households and <clears throat> those who run missions for all of the financial needs of the Fiat Foundation and the Bethany House of Crucified Love and Prayer. We pray for orphans. We pray for those in foster care and their caregivers, those who are longing to adopt, those longing to conceive, those who are expecting babies, those who've just had babies, those who've lost babies and loved ones. We pray for the innocent who suffer for those abused, neglected, trafficked. We pray for those with addictions, eating disorders, those with Alzheimer's and dementia and their caregivers, for those with terminal illness. We pray for children who suffer and who need um, our prayers. We pray for Liam and for Levi, for Charlie, 
Christopher, Colton, Calvin, Aubrey, Cecilia, Colette, Sophia, Michael, Landon, Lincoln, Nora, Matthew, Mateo, Vianney, Dean, Jaden. We pray for the little boy, Joseph, who died in South Bend over the weekend. I don't know what happened, but I saw that there was a child from St. Matthew's that died unexpectedly, tragically. So we pray for the circumstances surrounding his death and for his family and those who are mourning him, his classmates, his friends, and for his soul. We pray for all of those who are suffering the loss of a loved one. We pray for the souls in purgatory. We pray for those looking for work. We pray for those in higher education. I ask for prayers with my, my doctorate. We pray for all those traveling and for all of the needs of our refugees, the poor, those who've left the church, that the Lord may create an easy path for them to find their way home. All of those entrusted to our prayer, all of those who are unrepentant, all of those who are unforgiving. We pray for all of those in a special way who may have hurt or harmed any of us or our loved ones. For those who are it's difficult for you to forgive, we're going to help you by praying for them, right? The Lord said, love your enemies and do good to those who hate you. Bless those who hurt you. You know, pray for those who betray you, who stab you in the back. We're going to pray for them tonight. And God will bring not only conversion to them, but healing and peace to your own hearts. We pray for all of the intentions of everyone on all of these pages. Those who are suffering demonic illnesses, right? They feel tempted or oppressed in some way. Maybe they dabbled in the occult and they can't get out of that web of evil. We pray for their deliverance, for broken families. We pray for healing. And we pray for all of your particular intentions specifically. And I ask in your mercy that you remember mine. I have a rosary. Okay. There we go. <laughs> in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, in union with your most precious blood, poured out on the cross and offered in every Mass, I offer you today my prayers, works, joys, sorrows, and sufferings for the praise of your holy name, for all the desires of your sacred heart in reparation for sin, for the conversion of sinners, for the union of all ch uh, churches, of all Christians, for all of the intentions of our hearts and for our final union with you in heaven, amen. My queen and my mother, I give myself entirely to you and to show my devotion to you. I consecrate to you this day, my eyes, my ears, my heart, my, my eyes, my ears, my mind, my mouth, my heart, my entire self without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am thy own, teach me and guard me as a property and thy possession. And we pray that prayer of Jabez. Oh, that you would bless me indeed. Enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, and you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. I believe in God the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We pray for Pope Francis, the cardinals, the archbishops, bishops, and all of the priests who work for them. We pray for their intentions, their protection, for their conversion. 
her integrity and humility, her wisdom, knowledge, understanding, right judgment, courage and fortitude, mercy, justice, reparation, generosity, and love. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of hope, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of love, charity, and conversion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we are going to pray the Sorrowful mystery since it's the Wednesday of Holy Week. And we'll pray them in union with St. Joseph. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. And St. Joseph, after he died, had to wait in limbo to be let into heaven after Jesus died on the cross. And as he sat there and gazed upon earth and saw Christ sprawled out on that rock in Gethsemane, where all of his beloved friends, his disciples, fell asleep on him. Some ran away to betray him to the high priests and he was in such agony alone abandoned that he sweat blood on that rock you can see that rock in Gethsemane in the Holy Land today and there was no one to comfort him and so the father sent him an angel I wonder if Joseph asked the father to send him an angel Joseph saw him as this child Jesus sleeping on the rock he saw him as the one that he held in his arms. I'm sure that Joseph spent countless sleepless nights awake with Jesus. Maybe if he was sick, if he wasn't sleeping, if he was, you know, like babies are up and awake at night. Joseph attended to him. He never would have fallen asleep on Jesus. He was as faithful as the disciples were unfaithful. And he looked at his son and he prayed with his son and for his son. And he waited for his son to open the gates of heaven. In this mystery, we spend the evening, the decade that we pray here this evening, with St. Joseph in Gethsemane. We ask the Lord that he allows the little sufferings of our lives to console his wounded heart, to bring him comfort, that he see us be faithful where others were unfaithful. We offer prayers for those who've fallen asleep on us, right? Or who have betrayed us, stabbed us in the back, right? Abandoned us like a coward who ran away because they couldn't handle the suffering that the Lord asks of those who live authentic love. And as Christ prayed for his persecutors and he prayed for us who sinned against him, we pray this night with him for those who've sinned against us and those who we love. We ask for their conversion and we ask for peace. We ask for that grace of faithfulness that Joseph had in the night. St. Joseph, renowned offspring of David, pray for us. Light of the patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the mother of God, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the virgin, pray for us. Foster father of the son of God, pray for us. Diligent protector of Christ, pray for us. Head of the holy family, pray for us. The agony in the garden, our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of a powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. And in the scourging, Christ is stripped and he's bound and he's tortured. He becomes an absolute fountain of blood poured out for each one of us. And as St. Joseph would have gazed at him from there in limbo, abhorred at the torture of his son, his mind would have gone back to that first wound of Christ in the circumcision where he doctored him and he cared for his precious blood. Jesus had to have taken comfort in the thought of Joseph who went to extreme measures to flee into Egypt to save him from any suffering from the cruel Herod. And yet now he had no Joseph. All he had was the will of his father that he embraced the free will decision of man to kill the savior of the world. 
Saint Joseph was the head of the household of the Holy Family. He was kingly, right? He was in charge of the king of kings. He fed the bread of life. He protected the Savior. And here Jesus is mocked in his authority. But he humbles himself in, in a great act of meekness that he first saw demonstrated in the servitude of his father, Joseph. Regardless of the hardships that Joseph endured, he was humble and he was meek. And Jesus would have learned in his humanity how to bear sufferings patiently and well from him. I think that the greatest intention that Jesus and Joseph would have for us in this mystery is that we do not waste the blood of Christ to shed on our behalf, that we do not reject one grace, one wish, one desire he has for our lives. We pray for the grace to do that which is hardest. What is it that God has asked you to do that you just can't bring yourself to do? What relationship do you refuse to heal? What ill do you refuse to apologize for? Or what person who's harmed you do you refuse to forgive? Is there something he's asked you to give up that you won't? We pray with Joseph to Jesus and the scourging. Exhausted you sought me. Crucified you saved me. May your wounds not be in vain. And we ask Joseph to pray for us, to open our hearts to his grace. St. Joseph, most humble, pray for us. St. Joseph, most meek, pray for us. St. Joseph, most just, pray for us. St. Joseph, most merciful, pray for us. St. Joseph, most chaste and pure and modest, innocent, pray for us. St. Joseph, most prudent and wise, understanding and discerning, pray for us. St. Joseph, most docile and surrendered and trusting, pray for us. The scourging at the pillar, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagada ti polnaya gaspod staboye. Blagoslav yen na tim yez de jonami, i blagoslav yen plod shereva tvayevo isus. Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Molisa nas Krishni, Nimif chas mirti nashi amen polish. Sturovash Maria waski pounder pan stubbon. Bogoswav yonish timians and evastami i bogoswav yoni ova chivota tfayego jesus. Shventa Maria matka boja mudishes and amixish nemi. Terasif gojina i shmirchi nashi amen spanish. Dios de salve Maria yeneris de gracia el senores contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadores. Ahora, y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén, Italia. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor y con te. Tu se benedetta, fraladone, y benedetto el fruto del tuo, Señor, Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dio, prega per noi pecadori, adesso en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater de oro pro nobis pecatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostri. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya, Gaspot Staboye, Blagaslavienna Timiesh de Jonami, 
i blagoslav jen plet šreva Tvaja vel Isus. Svetaja Marija, Mater Boža, malisa nas grešni, nini v čas smirti naši, amen, poleš. Zdrovaš, Marija, vlaski, pevna pan s tebo. Boga slavionaš ti njenzena vesali i Boga slavioni ova čevota Tvajego Jezus. Čvinta Marija, Matka Boža, mureš je za nami vžešnimi, Tera si godina i šmirči naši, amen, spjenaš. Dios te salve, Marija, jena res te gracia, el senjores contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, i bendito el se fruto de vientre, Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadori, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte, amen, Italia. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor y conte. Tu se benedetta fra la donne y benedetto el fruto del tuo Señor Jesu. Santa Maria, Madre de Dio, prega per noi pecadori, adesso o en la hora de la nostra muerte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, gracia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri, Amen. Gloria Patri et Filia, et Spiritui Sancta, sic uderar in principio et nunc et semper, Ad in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave. Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. That little forehead of Christ's that St. Joseph must have kissed. How many times does a father lean down and kiss the forehead of his son? It was pierced with thorns. St. Joseph took care of Christ, but he also honored him and adored him as his God and his Savior. How his heart would have shuddered to see him mocked in his royalty and his authority. In this mystery, we pray that we may all have the mind of Christ. In areas that are dark, where we don't know God's will, we ask for him to give light. In areas of brokenness, where we just don't know how to heal things anymore, we ask the Lord to enter with his truth. In places where others may have misjudged you or wronged you, we offer in our minds forgiveness, forgiving thoughts. In places where people's minds were wounded in sin, maybe somebody sinned against them and taught them erroneous thinking or they were exposed to abusive behavior, we ask the Lord to heal their minds, to purify them. To those who suffer in their minds from depression, from Alzheimer's or dementia, memory issues, psychotic issues, demonic issues, we ask for healing. That that brow so innocent of Christ's that was pierced with thorns may win healing for the minds of all people. And we ask St. Joseph to pray for this. St. Joseph, most strong, pray for us. St. Joseph, most gentle, pray for us. St. Joseph, most courageous and brave, pray for us. St. Joseph, most obedient, pray for us.
pray for us. St. Joseph, most faithful, pray for us. The crowning with thorns, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a stay, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. The cross had its shadow on the life of Christ from even his childhood, right? He was born in a stable. He was laid in a manger. He was hunted by a wicked king. And Joseph protected him. And Joseph helped him carry that cross. When Simon the Cyrenian took the cross from Christ, he had two young boys with him. He had to have been like a symbol of St. Joseph to Jesus. In our own lives, God asks people to come, like this, like Simon, like St. Joseph, and to help us with our crosses. And we pray for those people in gratitude when they say yes, 
and for their conversion when they reject the grace of authentic love. And we pray for those the Lord brings to us that we can discern properly and never say no when he asks us to lift a burden from another's soul. It will cost us to do that. Simon of Cyrene, right? He uh, had the sweat and the blood of Christ on him. He was dirty after he carried the cross. I'm sure when they went to hit Christ or to yell curses, they, they fell on Simon. When Jesus brings us a soul, it can be in our family. It can be outside of our family. Priests are called to do this often as friends, as pastors. We are going to suffer with the people that we help. If they're trying to get back to the church, we're going to have concrete spiritual battles that we fight on their behalf. If they've made a mistake, they don't know how to correct it, we're going to lift that burden, make it easier for them to do the right thing. When they're beaten, when they're betrayed, we're going to take their side, even if it's not popular. We're going to defend the underdog. Let's pray for that grace. St. Joseph, mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of artisans, pray for us. Glory of the home life, pray for us. Guardian of virgins, pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Let's pray that more people have the courage. It takes a, a, a manly heart to reach out to those who need you. If we only help those that it's easy to help. That's not sacrifice. <laughs> That's not heroic virtue. That's not heroic love. If we're just around people that we like, when we help people, when it's comfortable, when it fits in our day, when it makes us happy. Let's ask that we have the grace to lift that cross from Christ when it's inconvenient, maybe a little uncomfortable, when it's difficult. That's love caring of the cross. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian, Radusia Maria Blagadati Polnaya Gaspodstavoya. Blagoslavian na tinyeshto jonami i blagoslavian plodchereva tvayevo isus. Svetaya Maria Mater Boja Melisa Naskarishni. Nini včas smirti naši amen polish. Storova Maria Waski Pauna pan s tebom. Bogoslavion as tinyenzanavastami i bogoslavion i ovot shavota tvayego jesus. Šventa Maria Matka Boža mudlše za nami všešnimi. Herasif Gojina i Shmirti Nashiaman Spanish Dios de Salve Maria Yanares de Gracia El Senores Contigo Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús Santa Maria Madre de Dios rega por nosotros pecadores ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte Amen Italian Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Signore con te. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, e benedetto il frutto del tuo Signor Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso nell'ora della nostra muerte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, gracia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tu, Gesù. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri, amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya, Gaspot Staboya, Blagoslavien nati miez de jonami, i Blagoslavien plodchereva tvayevo isus. Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Melisa nas grishni, nini včas mirti nashi, amen, Polish. Sturovash Maria Waski Pauna Pan Stabon, 
Bogosławiony ci między nawysami i błogosławiony owoc żywota Twojego Jezus. Święta Maria, Matka Boża, módl się za nami grzesznymi, teraz i w godzinę i śmierci naszej. Amen. Spienasz. Dios te salve, Maria, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italia. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, e benedetto il frutto del tuo segno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedetta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus, fructus ventris tu, Gesù. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc ad in ora mortis nostri, Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicur erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum, Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave crucifixion and death of our Lord in this mystery we pray in union with Joseph for all of the greatest needs and intentions of the sacred heart of Jesus the immaculate heart of Mary and the most chaste heart of Saint Joseph and for all of our greatest intentions and you can just name them in your heart right now For peace in the world and peace in our hearts, that we be instruments of peace. St. Joseph, solace of the wretched, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church, pray for us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Excuse me. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, thy mighty of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us rewards of eternal life. Grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon the mysteries of the most holy rosary of the blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord, amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires and needs. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me. Ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. St. Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. O St. Joseph, terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and his minions. Protect us with thy mighty staff. You fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now, with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children and the unborn families and relationships, work and ministries, homes and possessions, persecuted Christians, priests, and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while you are near. So we beg of you, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Seraphim, and Cherubim, thrones and dominions, virtues, powers, principalities, archangels, and guardian angels, Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. 
May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, a princess of a heavenly host, by the divine power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commits us here, ever this night be at our side to light and guard, to rule, to protect, to defend, to enlighten, and to guide. And let's pray for those who have died. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May your perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Eternal God, we offer to you the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, those in universal church within our own home, and within our own family. Amen. And we pray St. Patrick's Prayer. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through the strength of the love of the cherubim, in the obedience of the angels, the service of the archangels, in the hope of resurrection to meet with reward, in the prayers of patriarchs, predictions of prophets, the preaching of apostles, the faith of confessors, in the innocence of holy virgins and the deeds of righteous men, I arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, the radiance of the moon, the splendor of fire, the speed of lightning, the swiftness of wind, the depth of the sea, the stability of the earth, and the firmness of rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's shield to protect me. God's host to save me from the snares of the devil, from temptations of vices, from everyone who wishes me ill afar and near. I summon today all these powers between me and those evils against every cruel and merciless power that may oppose my body and soul, against incantations of false prophets, black laws of pagandom, false laws of heretics and the craft of idolatry, against spells of witches and smiths, wizards, Satanists, and warlords, and against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Jesus Christ to shield me today against poison and burning, choking and suffocating, debt and destruction, accidents and pestilence, infestation and plague, drowning and wounding, sickness and calumny, disobedience, disrespect, profanity, and modesty and chastity and purity, fear and worry, discouragement and despair, manipulation, retaliation, hard-heartedness, misunderstanding, confusion, unrepentance, unforgiveness, addiction, jealousy, competition, blocking and division, pride, rash or false judgment, vanity, selfishness, anger, lust, dishonesty, betrayal, denial, abandonment, rejection, indifference, and unfaithfulness and against every other evil that could come against me and all of those for whom I pray, so that there may come to all of us instead an abundance of reward. Jesus Christ be with me, Jesus Christ before me, Jesus Christ behind me, Jesus Christ in me, Jesus Christ beneath me, Jesus Christ above me, Jesus Christ on my right, Jesus Christ on my left, Jesus Christ when I lie down, Jesus Christ when I sit down, Jesus Christ, when I arise, Jesus Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Jesus Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Jesus Christ in every eye that sees me, and Jesus Christ in every ear that hears me. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. Amen. And I have a bookmark here of a prayer to St. Philomena. She was the first saint I prayed to for a miracle that ever happened. I was in high school and invited to go to Russia as a missionary at 17. And communism had just fallen. And I didn't think there was any way my parents would let me. <laughs> 
So I prayed to St. Philomena, and sure enough, it happened. So tonight, let's pray this prayer to St. Philomena for all of our most dire intentions, knowing that no intention is too great for her to do impossible, seemingly impossible miracles. O faithful virgin and glorious martyr St. Philomena, who worked so many miracles on behalf of the poor and sorrowing, have pity on me. Thou knowest the multitude and diversity of my needs. Behold me at thy feet, full of misery, but full of hope. I entreat thy charity, O great Saint Philomena. Graciously hear me and obtain from God a favorable answer to the requests which I now humbly lay before you. And you can name your intentions. I am firmly convinced that through thy merits, scorn, and sufferings, and the death that thou sh didst endure, united to the merits of the passion and death of Jesus thy spouse, I shall obtain what I ask of thee, and in the joy of my heart I will bless God, who is admirable in all of his saints. Amen. On Wednesdays we do our consecration to St. Joseph's holy cloak and to his heart. O glorious patriarch St. Joseph, you who were chosen by God above all men to be the earthly head of the most holy of families, I beseech you to accept me within the folds of your holy cloak, that you may become the guardian and custodian of my body and soul. From this moment on, I choose you as my father and brother, protector and defender, counselor and guide. Achoo, excuse me. My patron and provider and defender, right? Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> and I beseech you to place in your custody my body, mind, heart, soul, emotions, memory, past, present, future, my family, my friendships, my relationships, my home, property, possessions, and finances, my work and ministry, the Fiat Foundation, the Children of the Cross, my education, my vocation, all that I am, all that I possess, my life and my death. Look upon me as one of your children and defend me from the treachery of my enemies, both visible and invisible. Assist me at all times and all my necessities. Console me in the bitterness of my life, especially at the hour of my death. Say but one word for me to the divine Redeemer, whom you were deemed worthy to hold in your arms, and to the Blessed Virgin Mary, your most chaste spouse. Request for me those blessings which will lead me to salvation. Include me among those who are most dear to you, and I shall set forth to prove myself worthy of your special patronage. O glorious patriarch and patron of the church, virgin spouse of the virgin mother of God, guardian and virginal father of the word incarnate, in the presence of Jesus and Mary, I choose you this day to be my father and guardian, protector and defender, provider and guide. O great Saint Joseph, whom God has made the head of the holy family, Accept me, I beseech you, though utterly unworthy to be a member of your holy house. Present me to your immaculate spouse. Ask her also to adopt me as her child. With her pray that I may constantly think of Jesus and serve him faithfully to the end of my life. Terror of demons, increase in me virtue. Protect me from the evil one. Help me not to offend God in any way. O oh, my spiritual father, I hereby consecrate myself to you. In faithful imitation of Jesus and Mary, I place myself and all my concerns under your care and protection. To you, after Jesus and Mary, I consecrate my body and soul with all their faculties, my spiritual growth, my family and relationships, my home property, possessions and finances, my education, my work, my ministry, my vocation, the Fiat Foundation, the Children of the Cross, the Bethany House of Crucified Love and Prayer and all my affairs and undertakings. Forsake me not, but adopt me as a servant and child of the Holy Family. Watch over me at all times, especially at the hour of my death. Console and strengthen me with the presence of Jesus and Mary, so that with you I may praise and adore the Holy Trinity for all eternity. Amen. And lastly, we're going to pray the 33-day prayer to um, St. Joseph. I'm doing it for a special couple, like 
really important intentions between March 19th and May 1st. So we get to pray this together. Ever blessed and glorious Joseph, kind and loving father, helpful friend of all in sorrow, you are the good father and protector of orphans, the defender of the defenseless and the patron of those in need and sorrow. Look kindly on my request, my sins have drawn down on me, the just displeasure of my God, so I'm surrounded with unhappiness. To you, loving guardian of the family of Nazareth, do I go for help and protection. Listen then, I beg you with fatherly concern to all of my earnest prayers, please obtain for me what I ask. I ask it by the infinite mercy of the eternal Son of God, which moved him to take our nature and be born into the world of sorrow. I ask it by the weariness and suffering you endured when you found no shelter at the inn of Bethlehem for the Holy Virgin, nor a house where the Son of God could be born. Then, being everywhere refused, you had to allow the Queen of Heaven to give birth to the world's Redeemer in a cave. I ask it by the loveliness and power of that sacred name, Jesus, which you conferred on the adorable infant. I ask it by that painful torture you felt at the prophecy of Holy Simeon, which declared the child Jesus and his Holy Mother future victims of our sins and of their great love for us. I ask it through your sorrow and pain of soul, when the angel declared to you that the life of the child Jesus was sought by his enemies. From their evil plan, you had to flee with him and his blessed mother to Egypt. I ask it by all the suffering, weariness, and labor of that long and dangerous journey. I ask it by all your care to protect the sacred child and his immaculate mother during your second journey, when you were ordered to return to your own country. I ask it by your peaceful life in Nazareth, where you met with so many joys and sorrows. I ask it by your great distress when the adorable child was lost to you and his mother for three days. I ask it by your joy at finding him in the temple, by the comfort you found at Nazareth while living in the company of the child Jesus. I ask it by the wonderful submission he showed in his obedience to you. I ask it by the perfect love and conformity you showed in accepting the divine order to depart from this life and from the company of Jesus and Mary. I ask it by the joy that filled your soul when the Redeemer of the world triumphant over death and hell entered into the possession of his kingdom and led you into it with special honors. I ask it through Mary's glorious assumption, through the endless happiness you have with her in the presence of God. O oh, good Father, I beg you by all your suffering, sorrow, and joy, hear me and obtain for me what I'm asking. Obtain for all of those who have asked my prayers everything that's useful to them in the plan of God. Finally, my dear patron and father, be with me and all who are dear to me in our last moments that we may eternally sing the praises of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Amen. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful heart of Our Lady, pray for us. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. All you holy angels, pray for us. All you holy saints, pray for us. And all the holy souls in purgatory, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Have a blessed evening. God bless you.